we previously defined orthogonal and orthonormal sets in inner product spaces. Today, we'll go through some examples of determining whether a set of vectors is orthogonal and whether it's orthonormal with respect to the Euclidean inner product on R squared. These are the four examples we're going to do. I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson introducing orthogonal sets and orthonormal sets if you need to review. You can try these problems now yourself. Let's start walking through the solutions. Beginning with problem one, are these two vectors orthogonal? Well, if we call the two vectors v1 and v2, we would have to compute their dot product to determine if they are orthogonal or not. So we would multiply the corresponding components, negative four times five, and then add them together, six times zero, so plus zero. Clearly, this dot product is not equal to zero, and so the vectors are not orthogonal. This immediately means that they can't be orthonormal either. And it's certainly easy to see that this vector, for example, is not a unit vector. So yeah, no way these vectors are orthonormal. Let's move on to problem two. Are these two vectors orthogonal? Well, if again we call them v1 and v2, we would have to compute the dot product. So negative one over root two times one over root two. The root twos would cancel out and just leave a two in the denominator, and it's negative. And then we would have one over root two times one over root two, which is the same thing, but positive. So negative one half plus one half, this is zero. And so these two vectors are orthogonal. Then are they orthonormal? Well, that depends on whether or not they are unit vectors. If we consider the norm of this first vector, that would be the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. The square of this component is positive one over two, since when we square it, the negative and the square root both go away. Now, when we square this component, we also get one over two. So in the square root in calculating the norm, we would just have a half plus a half. So the square root of one. So yes, the norm is one. Now this other vector has the exact same norm since the only difference is uh, negative, which doesn't matter since we're squaring stuff. So both of these vectors are unit vectors. Since they are orthogonal unit vector vectors, yes, they are orthonormal. What about these two vectors for number three? Well, if we call them v1 and v2, yeah, they're trivially orthogonal since this vector is the zero vector, which is orthogonal to every vector. So they are orthogonal. But remember, just because we have an orthogonal set of two vectors doesn't mean that this is a basis for r squared because one of these vectors is the zero vector. So these are not considered linearly independent. It certainly doesn't form a basis for r squared. So the vectors are orthogonal. Are they orthonormal? Well, trivially, we say no, because that's a zero vector. It's not a unit vector. Its magnitude is zero. Last example, number four, are these two vectors orthogonal? Well, we'd have to multiply and add their corresponding components to figure that out. So let's do that dot product. We have three fifths times negative four fifths, which is negative 12 over 25. And then four fifths times negative three fifths, which again is negative 12 over 25. Those two terms certainly do not cancel out to zero. So the dot product is not zero. And so the vectors are not orthogonal. Are they orthonormal? Well, no, because that requires orthogonality. So they're not orthonormal. Although if we computed their norms, we would get one. They are both unit vectors. This would be the square root of nine plus 16 over 25. So root one, which is one. And this would be the same thing. So they're not orthogonal, but they are unit vectors. So those are just a few examples of determining if a set of vectors in R squared is orthogonal and if it's orthonormal. Remember, to be orthonormal, a set does need to be orthogonal. It needs to be orthogonal and the vectors need to be unit vectors. To be orthogonal, the lengths of the vectors don't really matter. They just all have to be orthogonal to each other. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and be sure to check out my linear algebra course and linear algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out Sounds like you've been stressed out Tell me what you're stressed about Love. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out Lately, don't know what's what Don't know what I'm stressed about Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out Sounds like you've been stressed out Tell me what you're stressed about